Flying with the BLR H125 fast fin, you notice a lot of differences with the aircraft. The stability is a lot better for the pilot. It takes a lot less pilot workload to keep the aircraft stable in a hover precision hold for doing external load work. It makes the aircraft easier to control and a lot less pilot workload. The airflow is, is managed uh, by the, the cowling system and the vortex generators uh, uh, maintain the, the airflow to the bottom of the tail boom, enhancing the lift on the, the side of the tail boom that is making the tail rotor work less. It, it is assisting the tail rotor. Essentially do is you've made the tail boom a wing that now flies in the direction that assists the tail rotor. And by doing that aerody aerodynamic improvement in the tail boom, um, the tail rotor system works uh, much more efficiently, requires substantial and less power. Uh, so if you're not having the tail rotor inputs as you normally would, that power is now available for the main rotor system. The distinct operational capabilities benefit of the BLR's H125 fast fin system they include torque and, and temperature benefits up to 3 to 5 percent. In addition to uh, the weight benefit, the aircraft becomes much more stable. All right, the fast fin kit is comprised of several components. There is a strake that's located on the right hand side of the aircraft. There is an actual cowling that replaces the drive shaft cover, which is an aerodynamic cowling and then there's also vortex generators incorporated into the left side of the aircraft and the cowling. All three of those components together make up the fast fin kit. It improves safety, control margin, uh, reduced pilot workload, and overall just makes the aircraft a pleasure to fly. You can buy the kit from your aircraft salesperson as, as part, of, part of the factory option. H125 FastFin is currently operating worldwide. So I've flown with several different customers in different markets, one in the utility market. Uh, they immediately noticed once they picked the aircraft up into a hover, they immediately noticed the lack of pedal movements with your feet and how much input was required to keep the aircraft in line and stable. They also noticed when they would perform takeoffs that there was a lot less pedal input and a lot less input needed to keep the aircraft on the track that they were desiring. In the air, they noticed when they pulled into an out of ground effect hover that the pedal movements were very dampened and very soft but crisp to where they could actually hover the aircraft without a lot of control inputs and a lot more control margin. EMS market is a very difficult market because they're doing a lot of off airport landings in unknown landing zones to where the winds are unknown. So when they're coming in from different directions for the EMS market, the system will actually give them a lot more control margin with all of the different wind azimuths possibilities what they have when they go to land at these off-site LZs. For the law enforcement, they are constantly over scenes. Uh, they're doing rescues. They're doing all these other things to where the hover hold capabilities are so much better with this aircraft in the fast fin system that they will have reduced pilot workload. They can hover hold over situations if they're doing insertion of people with fast roping or external load operations, winch operations. That will help them with the hover hold to hold over that precise location and help them with that, that job. So if you're interested in, in experiencing new levels of confidence in controlling your H125, please give me a call or one of your Airbus affiliates. We'd be happy to answer your questions.